turn this part of the program over to a very skilled and distinguished speaker. So if you will help me welcome Mrs. Tappy Hedger. I was going to sing, but y'all didn't sit down soon enough, so now you don't get to hear it. So, so now I'm just going to talk, but that's okay, because I've been told that I'm very good at it. All right, I haven't been told I'm very good at it, I just told I do it a lot. So anyways, um, when I was little growing up, I used to love stories, and I used to beg my mom and dad at night before bed and other times to tell me stories, because I used to love to hear them. Well, now that I'm grown up and I have kids of my own, I tell them stories, and I think there might have been a time or two when they've told me a few stories. <laughs> but anyways, I love stories. And you are honored, as well as I am tonight, to have with us a very distinguished professor of storytelling. But you didn't know there was professors of storytelling, did you? Well, we have him with us here tonight. And he's a colleague of mine. I've worked with him before, and we've done a lot of stories together. As a matter of, I don't think there's hardly a story we haven't done together. So I was just wondering if tonight, if anybody here, we're going to let you pick the story. So if anyone here tonight has a favorite story that they'd like to hear. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, okay, Dana. <laughs> That's perfect, because that is just the story we were going to do tonight, the three little pigs. It's, it's one of my favorite, too. I'm so glad you picked it. So anyways, um, before the professor comes out here, I'm going to introduce him, but I just want you to know he's a little bit, just a little bit sensitive about his name. And, uh, well, when he comes out, you'll see why, but, you know, they say it's one of his shortcomings in life, his name. But anyways, um, we're very honored to have him with us here tonight. He's really a great guy, and he, I'm going to tell the story tonight, and our professor... Professor I. R. Short is going to illustrate it for us tonight. So, uh, Professor, are you almost ready? I, I am ready now, yes. Oh, 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 good, oh, good. Good. Coming out, Professor. Ah, okay. There we go. We are all set. Okay. Now. Once upon a time in a land far, far away lived three little pigs. <coughs> Press three little pigs. Three. Three little pigs. Now these three little pigs were growing bigger every day and they lived in a very small house. So they decided it was time to venture out on their own and build houses of their very own. Now the first little pig was a lazy sort of fellow. And he decided that he would build his house out of something that wouldn't take too much work. So he decided he would build it out of straw. So the first little pig lumbered out into the field one day and gathered himself some straw. Uh, you'll need a little more straw than that. We're trying to build the whole house. We'll need a little more straw. You need a whole lot of straw. And he took his straw back and built himself a house. Now, the second little pig was an impatient sort of fellow, and he liked to do things very quickly. So he decided he would build his house out of sticks because that would be very quick. I think I'll build my house out of sticks. That would be very quick. So quickly he went out into the field, gathered himself some sticks as quickly as he could, raced back, and built himself a house quickly out of sticks. Now, the third little pig was the smartest of them all and, in my opinion, the very best-looking one of them all. He was tall, he was dark, he was handsome, and he had really big muscles. I said really big muscles. Could you try a little harder? His muscles were really big. Anyway, the pig had big muscles. So he decided he was going to build his house out of bricks. So he gathered himself some bricks and Whoa. built himself a house. Now sitting on the edge of the forest, watching these three little pigs build their houses was the big, bad wolf. Now this big, bad wolf had great big eyes and really bad breath. <laughs> And he was really 
ugly. No, I, he was really ugly. <laughs> I said really ugly. Look, how ugly do you expect him? Oh, that's it. That's perfect. Right there. That's it. That's how ugly he was. So he sat there on the edge of the forest, brushing his teeth, watching the three little pigs, and decided to pay a visit to the first little pig's house. He snuck up to the first little pig's house and rang the doorbell. Bing bong. And the first little pig said... Uh, who is it? And the big bad wolf replied... It is I, the big bad wolf. <laughs> it was him. Yes. <laughs> and the big bad wolf also said... I'm going to blow down this little straw house. And I will huff. And I will puff. And I'll blow it down. <laughs> And that's exactly what he did. And that first little pig was so scared, he ran as fast as he could into the little pig's house and got there just in time to close the door to get away from the big bad wolf. Now the two little pigs sat there in their house trembling of fear because the big bad wolf was after them. And the big bad wolf came up to the second little pig's house and knocked on the door. And the little pig said, Go away. And the big bad wolf replied, I will not go away. In fact, I will uh, huff and puff and blow your house down. And that's exactly what he did. And those two little pigs were so scared they took off as fast as they could to get to the third little pig's house. But before they got there, they had to jump a few fences Whoa. <laughs> and climb a brick wall. Whoa. and swim across a stream. <laughs> then they hopped on a horse and rode the rest of the way there. <laughs> and they got there just in time to fly into the house and close the door before the big bad wolf got there. Whew. <laughs> that was some fancy flying. <laughs> now, the big, now the big bad wolf, he knew where those three little pigs were. So he just skipped along the path to get to their house. But he was very angry on his way there. So he stomped up to the porch of that third little pig's house and knocked on the door. And then he took and he huffed and he puffed and he blew that brick house down. Did you not say that this house is made of brick? Yes, that's right. How can a wolf blow a brick house down? That's impossible. Can a blow a brick house down? It is. Crazy. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? The plan B, of course. Remember the ladder on the side of the house? Plan B. Oh, yes, plan B. The wolf goes around to the side of the house where he had seen a ladder earlier in the day. And he climbed up the ladder. He crawled across the roof. He went to the chimney and he looked down. Hello, is anybody home? And he sat down. Are you sitting? I am, I am sitting and sitting can be. He grabbed his leg and he flew down that chimney. <laughs> right into a pot of boiling water. He sat there for a moment before he decided that. Ouch, this hurts. And he flew back up the chimney, oh! out into the forest, where he was never seen again. And <laughs> the three little pigs... I am okay. <laughs> Professor, are, are you okay? I am okay. I can fix that. <laughs> he can fix that. I think the professor minored in home repair, so you don't need to worry, Pastor. It'll be okay. <laughs>